Hello, this is Scott Buccino from telecoms.com here at the 5G Innovation Hub in Rome, which is uh, hosted by Tim uh, and also features a number of its partners, including Nokia. And I'm talking to Mas Massimo from yes. Nokia. So why don't you start, Massimo, by telling us about Nokia's involvement in this uh, event today and in this hub? Yes, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, as I said, we are working together with Tim uh, in more than uh, one activities. Uh, we are working here in the Innovation Hub and we bring there a lot of uh, um, demos where we are showing to the market which could be the industry application for, uh, for some of the new services that, that we can provide, not only to the operators but really to the, to the, end, to the industry. We are working also together in the coverage of San Marino and it is the first 5G country in Europe uh, and what we saw there for example is uh, how much the simplification can help this kind of uh, uh, launch of new technologies because wherever you can bring, uh, you can shorten the, the, the chain of the decision, for sure you have more power and you need less time to, 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 to proceed with, uh, with this kind of activities. And the, the focal point that we are having here in San Marino is, is the uh, collaboration with the operator and but also with other industry partners that can help a lot in this uh, new technology. Okay, Nokia is obviously one of the biggest uh, infrastructure vendors um, in the world. So, can you give us a sense from a sort of infrastructure perspective, um, you know, what the potential is for 5G and maybe what the limitations may be as well? Yes, I, I mean, Nokia, as you know, is, uh, I think, the best positioned company to provide 5G with our hand-to-end -hand portfolio, for sure, that, uh, that provide all the chain in the, telecom the telecommunication infrastructure, and also having the possibility to work in all the markets, because, as you know, we are working in North America, in Japan, in Asia, and, and for sure in Europe. So this is something that is helping a lot. Then, for sure, which are the, uh, the potential? The potential of 5G from its infrastructure viewpoint is that we can provide a low latency, uh, for sure, uh, uh, application and with big massive throughput. With slicing as well is something that is introducing the, the new technology that can bring a lot of agility in the, the, in the, in the management of the network. I think that the real limit could be re uh, the, the possibility of investment because uh -huh. uh, uh, I, from technology viewpoint we are really go through the limits. Okay, that's great. And so, as you touched on earlier, um, a lot of this day is about um, partnership. Yes. Um, Qualcomm's one of the major partners of this, and there are various other um, like handset vendors involved. Can you just give us a, a little uh, sense of the significance of partnership with companies like Qualcomm for you? I mean, uh, as I said, even if uh, from an infrastructure perspective, Nokia uh, can be considered one of the uh, most uh, important in, in the end-to-end, -end, for sure alone we cannot do nothing. For technology like 5G, we need to have an ecosystem well uh, trained and uh, working together. And uh, what, what I already said also, in this kind of uh, collaboration with Qualcomm, with Team, with other industrial partners, is the only way to produce new use cases that can boost the new technology. So the partnership with Qualcomm that is here in Italy but is worldwide because we are working together with our headquarter R&D uh, it, it's really important but it's not only a technology perspective because as we are saying also in the Futurix uh, concept uh, of the network that has been decided by, by Bell Labs, 5G will be not only a network with something more but it is a complete new ecosystem based on uh, new business models Models, and that and we can address this only with this enlarged partnership okay thank you very much thank you bye